What's up, my little pretties? It's your mistress, the Queen of Lines, here, and today we are gonna do, we are going to be doing a Q and A video of 2000 and um, 20 of July. So it's July 2020 of of this month. We're doing today a Q and A video. Now I did post this like on the community tab about a week ago that I'll be doing a community like a video of it. So. And a lot of people have put their, you know, questions on there. Today, I am going to be reading from them. And I do have some questions from the uh, last last Q&A video that I did. So, I'm going to be reading the comments from there. And I will also be reading the comments on my community post. So, I'm going to start off with the Q&A video from June of 2020. So, it was last month. So, let's get started, actually. Now, Lizard Gonslet uh, asked me a question. Have you watched anime? Watch an anime named Unusisha. Inusha. Inusisha. Yes, she, Shia. It's a good anime. What's your favorite animal? Now, the anime that I can't really pronounce it very well, I've never seen that one, so. I can't say, you know, if I like it or not, because I have not seen it yet. But, however, I may consider, you know, checking it out sometime whenever I get a chance to. And what's your favorite animal? Well, personally, I'm stuck between horses and uh, lions. So, horses and lions are my favorite animal. So, I'm stuck in between those. So, it's kind of hard to pick which one I like more. I do like lions, but I think I like horses a lot more. So... Petunia Skunk asked me, and this on my last Q&A video, she said, or he, I'm not trying to assume genders here, when are you going to throw a party? Well, I'm most likely are going to, um, throw a party will probably most likely be around my birthday, because my birthday is in August, so yeah, my birthday is going to be around that time, so just thought I would let you know. Okay, so... Mr. Kieran asked me me questions for the next Q&A video. So, number one, do you like Halo, Doom, or both? I personally like both games. Like, they're actually really good. Like, the Doom games, I have to say, I've played them when I was younger. And I obviously have to say, the Doom games were amazing. But I also like the Halo games. The Halo games were really good as well. But, you know, I like them both, actually. Like, I can't uh, figure out which one I like better. Like, they're both different, but they're amazing at the same time. Number two, do you watch or know Beastars? Beastars. So, I don't watch Beastars, like, Beastars. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. So, I might consider um, checking it out if I can. Do you hate or like Fortnite? Well... I don't really like Fortnite that much, Mr. Keteran. I've heard lots of people talk about it, and let's just say they can be toxic people onto it. So, yeah, I really don't really like Fortnite, just to be completely honest. Now, what is your kind of anthropomorphic animal would you be if they existed? I personally would either be a horse or a lion, but I think I would be a lion, because I think lions are kind of cool, and they are. Especially if you watch The Lion King. Okay. And the fifth question, he says, Would you rather hang out with normal Shadow or po demon-possessed Shadow? <laughs> if you're talking about Shadow Reader, I'd probably hang out with, you know, normal Shadow Reader. If I hang out with a demon-possessed Shadow Reader, <laughs> oh boy. I can't even describe how, how where that will go. That will probably go really crazy. So, yeah. Okay. And the last question from Mr. Kitaran is, what is your most hated Cree pasta? Um, I personally have read it a bunch of bad ones, but if I have to say one that I really hate the most, would have to be Sweet Apple Massacre. Oh my god. That story, in my opinion, was the worst story I've ever read. Like, I'm not going to go into details on why it's bad, because most of you guys should know, if, if you've heard of Sweet Apple Massacre, you should already know what it's about. It's disgusting. I'm not going to go into the details on what happens. I'm just going to say Big Macintosh does gross stuff and nasty stuff to the 
Cream are Crusaders, which is also known as Scootaloo, Apple Bloom, and, Sweet and Sweetie Belle. I am not going to dive into that because, well, it's pretty gross, so I'm not even going to bother. And that's the one story I will never touch after I watch it. Okay. Now, Cartoon Fanboy 91 asked me, me three questions. Have you ever been on a motorcycle before? The answer is no, because I've never been on a motorcycle in my entire life. I rarely ride bikes. Like, I never do. Like, I used to when I was younger, but now I ride horses. I, you know, I walk my dog, so I got into other things. So, no, I sadly have not been on a motorcycle. Now, now number two is, what is your favorite sport? Um, I really don't play a whole lot of sports, to be completely honest. But if I have to say what sport I like, I would have to go with horseback riding. Horseback riding, I do know it's like a dangerous sport, but it's a good one in my opinion too. It's fine if you guys don't like it, you know, that's fine. You know, I respect people's opinions, but it's actually pretty cool. Now, what are your thoughts on pony life? Um, I am not sure what pony life is. If, if you're talking about, you know, me, life with horses and ponies, I would have to say... It's actually really good because it reveal leaves your stress and stuff. But if you're talking about like a certain game or something, I really don't know. You know, if that's the case, maybe you could explain to me if that would be okay with you. But yeah, okay. Now, General Phoenix asked me like five questions. Number one, Universal Studios or Disney World? Um, I would have to say I would go to Disney World because I've never been to Disney World in my entire life. And I've never been to Universal Studios, so I might consider... E so I could say it's both, because they're both really good places from what I heard, but I've never been there. So, yeah. Have you ever watched One Piece or any other anime? Um, that's the second question. Um, I don't think that this is counts as anime, but it kind of does. And I would have to say, um... There is this uh, one anime that I watch, and it's called... Um, Pokemon. Pokemon is an anime. Yes, I do know that. Pokemon, I do watch, but I like the older shows. The older shows up to, like, maybe Diamond and Pearl are the only ones I like. The other ones are just not as great as I hoped they would be. Now, another one that I do have to say that never episode, well, never anime would have to be Studio Ghibli. Now, Studio Ghibli... It is just a series of, like, anime movies and all that, but I actually really found them to be right and quite enjoyable. So, those are the two animes I like. What do you think of my friend Yusnina? Yusnina the Hedgehog? Obviously, her, um, her content is just flat-out amazing. Like, I actually loved her char the characters she, she, like, drew, you know, of... I, I could probably tell their bases from, like, certain other ones. But she does really good at the movie spoofs and all that. I actually really enjoy her her work, basically. And stuff. <coughs> okay, number four. Are you a fan of Marvel Cinematic Universe? Um, I personally... I don't have any preference to Marvel. But, you know, most of their movies are pretty good, I say. But there are some bad ones that I have never heard of. There's even a few that I don't really care about. There's even some that I really didn't like, so it is kind of hard, basically, per se. Now, number five. Do you hate Jake Rosatikio, who is the one who who is the one who is calling my friends and me? Um, I don't know who that is. Um, General General Phoenix. I don't know who that person is. And I do apologize I couldn't finish, you know, the, um, the last part of his name. I personally don't, um, I personally don't know if I hate this guy or like him. Mainly because I've never heard of him. So if you want to, I know he's probably called you and your friends subhumans. If you guys want to, you know, link, to explain to me more of, uh, well, of who he is or something. Maybe I might, then I'll know. But mainly, I just don't know who he is, so, yeah. I can't really say too much. Okay, we have another set of questions coming from Bailey Maloney. If you were to meet a monster at Un in Universal Studios, who would you meet? Dracula, Frankenstein, the werewolf, or the mummy? 
I personally would like to meet uh, Dracula because he's a vampire, and vampires, I think they're cool. But I also like the werewolf because the werewolf is obviously really interesting to say. So I would have to say between Dracula and the werewolf. Now, number two, how much do you like chocolate in a scale of one to ten? I like chocolate. Like, chocolate is awesome. Like, I, you can have chocolate with any dessert, and it's really, really good. So, I would have to say number ten. Now, number three is, why does Jinx like to cause trouble? I really under, don't understand why she does like to cause trouble, but I think she's just as bad as Patrick Starr that, that Shadow has to put up with. So, I really don't understand too much about why Jinx does that, but I guess she does it for attention mainly. Now, number four, do you like ice cream? Then, if so, when, then what's your fav flavor? I personally like um, chocolate ice cream, but I also like uh, vanilla. I also like strawberry. I like certain kind of ice creams that I really do like. Now, my most favorite ice cream, I would have to say, would be uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Like, that one is just amazing, and it's really good, too. Like, I really like a lot of ice cream, so I don't really have a preference on what I like. I mainly like most of them. Now, the Mario and Sonic fan fan 1000 said, If I revise my my creep by version of the creep pasta, it does sound good. I can I pick up after this story and write the sequel? Um, you can honestly do that if you want. Like, I don't really have a preference, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to do that. Now, the Shadow Country Humans fan fanatic says, Are you going to be making more and or upload any more diarrhea stories? If so, about who? I personally have to private them for, well, personal reasons. I'm not going to say it. But if I were to make a diarrhea story or anything like that, they're going to have to be on a different site for, well, personal reasons. I'm not going to say what it is because, well, yeah. I'm not going to say it, but if for those who want to know... Who've been following me on social media, I'll tell you guys. But most of you guys already know. So, okay, now we get a few questions from William Waldrip, 99. W number one, what is your favorite movie from the 90s? I honestly have to say my favorite movie from the 90s would have to be in between the first two Lion King movies and the Scooby-Doo movies. Like, The Witch's Ghost and Zombie Island came out in 1998 and 99. Those movies are actually really good, but I also like um, The Lion King in the 90s, but I also like um, the sequel. But I also like some other movies from the 90s, too. So I do have, like, a list of them that I could really go on, and the video would be much longer. Now, number two, who's your favorite actor and, act and actress? Um, well, my favorite actor, I would have to say, to be completely honest, I honestly love um, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler having to be one of the most funniest um actors i've ever seen he's played in a lot of movies and he's really really funny i could definitely say that now now my favorite actress i'm stuck between Frances mcdormand and uh sigourney weaver now the reason why i say sigourney weaver is because she's in the in the alien movies which i find the alien movies to be rather satisfying and interesting and she was the warden in the movie Holes, which I will probably make a video about it, you know, eventually, whenever I get a chance to. But I'm stuck between her and Frances McDormand, who plays Miss Clavel in the live-action Madeline movie. But I do have, believe I've seen her in a few of her movies, but I'm stuck between her and Sigourney Weaver for actresses. I'm stuck in between those two. Now, number three, if you made a film series, what would it be about? If I honestly to make a film series, I would honestly make it about a few people going on adventures or something like that. Even if it, maybe a Disney new, like a Disney cartoon or something like that. Maybe something, or I guess anything I want to. Maybe a Winnie the Pooh one, but who knows? Maybe I would one day. If you made, if you've seen these, have you seen these videos that... Famous, that were people were famous, but weird autocomplete interview. Um, I don't think I've seen those, so no, I don't think so. Now, number five, have you played a Nintendo Wii? If so, what's your favorite game? I haven't played an, I've played on Nintendo Wii a long time ago, and I'm stuck with, um, well, I think I like the one the most is Pikachu's, um, Pokemon Park Adventure or something like that. That was actually a really good, um, 
good game, I have to say. I had a lot of fun with it, which is really nice. And I do love playing as Pikachu, so it's kind of one of the reasons why I like the game. But I haven't played in a while. Now, number six, who is your favorite character from The Lion King? I'm honestly stuck between a few characters. I'm stuck between Simba and Kiara, so... But, yeah, I do like the other characters, but I think Simba's my most favorite. Even he was a jerk in the in the sequel. I honestly still think he's adorable. Now, the anime girl asked, What is your favorite candy? My favorite is cotton candy. Now, my favorite candy, I'm gonna say right now, I think my favorite candy, to be completely honest, would have to be, well, I guess I like cotton candy as well, but I also like, um, caramels. Like, I put caramel and popcorn and stuff, you know? Caramel is what I like, so caramel is my most favorite. And my childhood show, I have to say, that's a hard, difficult one, because I have so many shows. Like, I like Big Comfy Couch, I like, um... Foursquare, I like um, Winnie the Pooh. I have like too many cartoons, so it's really, really, really hard to say. <laughs> now, Nick says, Nick Carmona says, What is your favorite curry pasta story from the Shadow Reader? I have to say, that's really a little hard to say. Like, my favorite curry pasta I would have to say that Shadow Reader wrote would have to be Dora's Moving Day. But I think I like Are You As Hungry As I Am the most. I think I like that one the most out of all of them. I honestly found it to be rather interesting and good. So, yeah. I just thought, you know, I'm stuck between two pastas by Shadow Reader. I don't know which one to pick. I think I like Are You As Hungry As I Am the most. Which I found that to be really, really freaky. Like, I'm going to be honest. I'm like, it's really, really, really freaky. Key when you come to think of it. Okay. Now, Ryan Wolf asks, what are your thoughts on cartoon curry pastas? Well, cartoon curry pastas nowadays are just becoming as, you know, riddled with bad grammar or completely cliche madness. They really don't seem to care about them anymore. But, you know, cartoon curry pastas are interesting to me. Like, I remember back when Andal used to do curry pastas, he had a lot of views and su subscribers. And, but it's sad that he doesn't do them anymore. Like, I understand his reasons, but, you know, some people do miss him doing that. But I respect what he does. Now, number two. If you could have any superpowers, what would it be? If I had superpowers, I would basically, um... I would probably shapeshift into anything. Like, I could shapeshift into anything I want. So, like, shapeshifting powers would be something I would really like to have if I could. That would be amazing someday. The Doc Offer asks, What is your favorite Lost Episode pasta? I think my favorite Lost Episode pasta would have to be, um... I guess you could kind of say, um... What am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. The My Friends Tigger and Poop funny pasta that, um... That Matthew Bumford uh, wrote for me. That one was really good. But I also like uh, Franklin is Lost. That one... The alternative ending one, that one was really freaky and messed up. But still, it's pretty good. What's your favorite creepy pasta by me? Now, that's kind of hard to say, the Doc Offer. I think I like the Incident series, like I've listened to them. And I might get to it, hopefully I can get to it very soon if I'm able to. And I do have to say it's really, really awesome to say the least. Like I really have to say that was obviously really interesting and like really amazing. The incident series was just amazing and pretty pretty interesting cool and too. To be completely honest, I really have to say it was really really awesome to say the least. Okay. But I also like the Faded Sun story, which I might consider maybe reading that one as well. Even though I haven't really really watched it in a while, but I can definitely say it's really good to say the least. So I guess you could kind of say that. <laughs> and a third question. What's your favorite movie? Um, a, f a favorite movie? Um, that I'm going to have to say. In, I'm stuck in between The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride and um, The Lion King. So those are the, but I'm also stuck as well with Tarzan. So those are kind of one of my favorite movies as well. So, and finally, will you make more horror creepypastas? 
I'm gonna try to make some more horror past creepy pastas if I can find any that are good. Because nowadays that I can't really seem to find any good ones. Like nowadays it's just I don't know understand what it is, but you know, I just can't seem to find a good one. And of course we got more questions from Mr. Keteran. He says Doomer Halo or both, which I answered. Best stars I answered that one. But of course I um and then she he asked two new questions. Do you like rap music or video game rap songs? Rap music is pretty cool, but rap music and video games, I find that one to be a lot better because it was pretty cool. So, yeah. And, of course, he asks, you should make a video where you get possessed by Shadow Reader's demon and you get your revenge on... <laughs> well... I might consider doing that, Mr. Keteran, but I really don't know for sure. But I could maybe consider doing it. So, of course, it's really cool. Cool, to be honest. But I might consider it. Alrighty. And now we have Meet Billy asks, What languages do you speak and understand? I speak English, but I'm willing to give it a shot on some other languages. But I mainly speak and understand English. But... The other ones can be sometimes hard for me to understand. So, yeah. Now, Ashley Armbruster asks three questions. Have you played any, ever played any computer games? Uh, yes, I have. I've played Heretic. I've played Doom. I've played Hexen. I've played, like, a lot of computer games. And the list can go on and on for a long time. So, it's going to be pretty cool as well. <laughs> and the second question. Do you like Frozen 2? Not me, because it sucked. <laughs> Um, I've, I've, I found Frozen 2 to be a pretty good sequel in my opinion, but for those who don't like it, that's kind of, that's okay, because I'm willing to respect your opinion on it. So, mm-hmm. And another question is, who's your favorite Marvel superhero? I honestly have to say Wonder Woman, because I honestly found Wonder Woman, men, you know, Wonder Woman, like, is a good movie. Like, I've seen Wonder Woman, and I have to say it's a really good movie. Now, Kiara Lioness Balto asks, why don't you like Teen Titans Go? I did make a, like, a little discussion video explaining why I exactly don't like Teen Titans Go, but mainly it's because the Teen Titan characters are obviously just different as, I can, as it can be, you know? It's just not the same as the original um, Teen Titans, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't really like Teen Titans Go. And number two, do you have a pet? I obviously do have a dog, and I have uh, two cats now. I've lost a few pets in the past, but, you know, I still really do do like it. And, okay, I think I'm going to get, you know, on with another, well, another thing. So, yeah. Favorite movie. Um, my favorite movie would have to be The Lion King to Simba's Pride. And, you know, I also like Tarzan as well. So, it's really hard to say which one's my ultimate favorite, because, you know, I like a lot of Disney movies, so I have to say. Now, my favorite horror movie. Um, my favorite horror movie, I would have to say that it was, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, my favorite horror movie, I'm going to have to say was, uh, Jaws. Jaws was actually one of the good movies I've seen. And the last question from Kiara Linus Balto asks, how old are you? Well, I'm going to be turning uh, 22 soon, so yeah, I'm basically 21. I'm going to be turning 22 soon, so hooray! Now, Cordal Grace asked me, are you planning to do some reaction videos soon? If I had the right equipment, I probably will consider it, but I don't have the right equipment for that, so I can't really do reaction videos until I get, you know, better equipment or something like that. But maybe someday. Maybe someday I will. So, now Long Plays by M16 asked me a bunch of questions. So, yeah, these are going to be the last ones. Number one, are you a boy or a girl? I'm a girl, just so you know. Most people should already know by now that I'm a girl. Girl, because you guys have seen me as Shadow Lioness and even the Queen of Lions. So it's obvious that I am a girl. Although some people do ask me to, to clarify, which I do understand. Now, what long play do you have? Do you want to see on my channel? Well, long plays. I'm gonna have to admit this. 
and I would have to say maybe if you could do another, you know, walkthrough maybe on a, um, I guess maybe you could do like one of the Telltale Walking Dead series or something. Because if you could do that, that would be really cool, to be honest. If you could do that, that would be quite awesome. If you were to ever do that, that I would really appreciate you a lot. And it would be just amazing to see it. So, yeah. I could definitely say that right here, right now. Alrighty. Now, what do you think of Xbox? I actually have loved Xbox. Like, the, all the Xbox games are pretty cool. But there are some games that I like the PS2, and there's some games that I like, you know, Xbox or Xbox One or stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I like the Xbox games. Now, number four. What is your favorite game slash toy slash show? Now, my favorite video game, I would have to say, would have to be the Resident Evil series. I am, My favorite toy would have to be any Briar Horse that I could find. They're really cool. And my favorite TV show, I would have to say, would be Teen Titans. Teen Titans being one of my ultimate favorite. And now we get to the last question. Do you... No, wait. Second. Oh, yeah. There's six questions. Sorry. <laughs> do you help... Do you know I help kids with disorders like you? Oh, I did not know that. That's awesome to hear. Long place. Um, I do have autism and dyslexia, or MID, which is mild intellectual disability. So, yeah, I'm really glad that you do that because I really encourage you to do that more often. And now the last question from him is, do you like me? Of course I do. I like pretty much everybody who comes onto my channel and streams and say, hi, how are you doing? And ask me a bunch of questions and stuff. But the only people who are not welcome here are basically, well, people, UTTP and stuff like that. Which I did make a video regarding about the UTTP. Which, man, they are frustrating. I can definitely say that now. Okay. Now, I think I already, you know, explained about the Q&A video. So, I want to thank you so much for sending me questions. I will be doing a new Q&A video sometime next month. So, be sure you'll be able to have some questions in. I will leave a community tab around near the end of July or something. So that I'll let you know when my... When I'm going to be doing stuff for August for Q&A videos. So... I want to thank you so much for, you know, letting me know in the comments below on what other stuff you'd like to see. I'll be seeing you all in the next, uh, well, video. Peace out. And like always, please roll the outro because I'm out of here.